you visited the county of Simcoe, chances are you've driven past the Simcoe County Forest, the largest municipal forest in Ontario. Spanning more than 33,000 acres and offering a unique blend of recreation, wildlife, relaxation, and timber, the award-winning forest has a rich history, dating back to a time when the once majestic forests of the county had nearly vanished. By the mid-1800s, lumber was the backbone of the local economy. In 1873, more than 114 active sawmills called Simcoe County home, harvesting forests which once seemed inexhaustible. With the drive to settle and farm the land soon after, thousands of acres were cleared leaving lands bare and streams dry, and the resulting sand clouds caused havoc for residents. We've all heard of snow plowing, but have you heard of sand plowing? It became common practice in Simcoe County to keep the region's roads free of sand dunes. The solution? Trees, and lots of them. The provincial forester at the turn of the century, E.J. Zavitz, was instrumental not only in documenting the devastating impacts from a lack of forest cover, he proposed solutions to turn the tide. With the provincial government led in the 1920s by Premier Drury, a farmer in Simcoe County who understood the critical need to restore area forests, the Agreement Forest Program was born. This began perhaps the most successful forest restoration program in Canadian history. Simcoe County was the first jurisdiction to sign on, and following the acquisition of the first 1,000 acres, the first trees were planted in 1922. The Simcoe County Forest was born. Over the next 100 years, Simcoe County would become home to some of the finest forestry teams and practices in Ontario. The Ontario Seed Plant in Angus, nurseries including one of the most significant in Midhurst, and tree plantings by the thousands were all part of the machine that established the forest that we continue to nurture today. Dedicated forestry staff have managed the health of the forests since day one. This includes the thinning of trees to allow for more sunlight to hit the forest floor, resulting in new growth and a stronger ecosystem. Thinning also creates lumber, creating employment while generating revenue that is all invested back into the forests themselves. Controlled burns also allow for new growth, sustainable habitats for local wildlife, and ensures future forest health and diversity. The county continues to acquire new land to add to the forest, and our highly skilled forestry team works year-round to keep the forest bursting with life. The Simcoe County Forest continues to be a mainstay for residents and visitors in Simcoe County. Recreational use has increased significantly, with more people each year enjoying everything the forests have to offer. From ATVs to snowmobiles and bicycles to snowshoes, the forests are home to all kinds of year-round recreation. In celebration of 100 years, we're inviting everyone to get out and find their forest, explore Simcoe County's incredible green space, and see the paradise sitting in their own backyard. Visit findyourforest.simcoe.ca for maps, recreation guides, and more information about the history behind these incredible lands.